think no it's brown. not yes, brown it is. is shit it's, okay it's, green is like oh like poison no it's poo poo okay so you're saying you got Big, poop air flying out by the, sam's face the, right now watch the yeah he's got a big fart so why are there. you not giving him a hard time why are you giving me a hard time because i got two stinky freaks yeah so they're, they're the supposed to be despicable get violently like it's not fart Dude, it's, it's not really it's fart. made out of it's made out of goblin gas you just don't don't come in here he's acting like you know anything about onion. art okay he's a stinky fucking onion what this is this? you're afraid. obsessed with stinky shit i swear to god it's like a fetish Poop. Are you Come ready on. to start this, or are you just going to be a fucking autist, you know, for this <laughs> much longer, dude? Is That's just... fine with me, dude. I'll milk you for ad revenue while you sleep. Just leave <laughs> yeah. it open. <laughs> They're like, tomorrow will be better, I promise you. And then he waits for tomorrow. He's like, they fucking no. lied. <laughs> I hope he at least nutted before he died. Half of them are gay. Most of them are gay. All yeah, of them, but... I think, are gay. It's like, do you want me to heat up the meatloaf? <laughs> Debra! I told you in a minute. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. <laughs> Just a minute, Just a minute. <laughs> Fuck. I'm killing stuff. Good enough. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Poop's already hysterical. Sorry. Oh my God. Yeah. No, we. Uh, uh, I was gonna do the whole intro like "Welcome to Forehead," but it doesn't even fucking matter at this point. Yeah, you two are. Bro, he's trying to gaslight me like I'm his girlfriend or something. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Each other's throats since we fucking got in here, dude. I, I can I'm just like sit here and, and, and get shit on, and then it's like you guys are at each other's throats. What do you? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Brian trying. is at Poob's throat. <laughs> no, because just because, it, because we were supposed fucking... to start 12, 14 minutes ago, and Poop was like. Wait a second. No, I'm getting no traction on my Twitch channel. Please let me advertise. This was your idea. Oh, yeah, you, you, you're you're just you as bad yeah. as him. He seriously begged us oh for 20 God. minutes. Okay, go ahead. Do your salesman yeah. pitch, your used car salesman pitch for your Twitch. Go. No. Fucking if they want to go there. If they want to go there, they'll go there. I'm not going to fucking Do you want me to do it for you? Pitch. I don't. No. Are you what serious? Are you you must wait 20 minutes. You're like, hold on. I just got to get the stink lines just right on this guy. All right, and then you, you I just wait. made the because Sam. Look at Sam's background. I wasn't gonna have just a plain back. <laughs> yeah, background. I had to. Yeah, but well, you know I had to spice prepared. it up so we could so I could advertise. I felt like it was getting too boring around here. Hold on, let me move this up. Boom. See, that's he called advertisement. Yeah. Forehead Fables I took a marketing podcast. Class, so yeah, that, that checks out. Yeah, that checks hey. out. Hold on, yeah. and then okay, yeah. Uh, so for those of you wondering, the my co-host, not the one that never shows himself. Not, yeah. the, not the hermit. <laughs> um, Poob has oh. actually been streaming on Twitch for, for a long time. And he was concerned that he was doing this oh. podcast and is severely underpaid and was getting nothing that, for it. And he was like, is there any way dude, you can channel? Any of these things. See, it's weird because like half the time he goes, Sam, the people that are in your audience are just demons. I hate them. But if there's a way that I could profit off them in some way and so yeah. he's like could you get them to my twitch channel but then make them not talk so if you yeah. don't like talking or communicating with a creator but also want to view their stuff and maybe a sub, lurker, yeah if you're a lurker but not much of a talker Lur lurkers welcome yeah if you got yeah. a loud mouth stay then out go to uh poop papa poop dot tv forward slash twitch wrong fucking fall asleep <laughs> wrong <laughs> No, grab go a, there. Grab a blanket, fucking, and then just pass out because it's a, just a sleepy fucking boredom fest. Bring your, bring guy, your favorite pillar. And yeah, go and rest he just your sits head. there and dies. That's he fine just, with me, dude. I'll milk you for ad revenue while you sleep. Just leave <laughs> yeah. it open. Because he, because notice behind Poob, he's got uh, various. They look like uh, friends. Some Real sort, friends yeah. That support me. <laughs> Real friends. Yeah. He, he. That's what he spends a lot of his time doing in between playing video games is drawing. Something that you, have you ever seen those kids that are born and their parents are on heroin and so they're born with a heroin addiction? That's oh, yeah. that's the kind of shit that they, they draw in their spare time. Yeah. When those kids get given the the Crayola sixty four crayon special yeah. oh. and they go draw what draw what ails you, child, at the fucking at the foster home, <laughs> and the, the <laughs> guidance <laughs> counselor is there to figure out why they scream when they sleep. Dude, yeah, go ahead. They, What's the name? Draw what ails you. That's the kind of shit that they draw. 
These are Even... collaborations with my chat, though. You know, I couldn't make any of these. Oh, yeah. myself. Okay, so hold on. Let me rephrase this. If you guys want to go hang out with other mentally ill people besides yeah. Boob, just a room of them that collaborate and make weird Tim Burton-esque things. it's not like a things. regular room filled with them. There's no padding on the walls or screaming. It's just me talking. So. Yeah. Uh, it's not too bad. It's not great. <laughs> yeah. By any means, I only do these freaks kind of as treats, too. They're not, like, super often. Freak treats? You know, as a, as a reward. Well, if they were behavior. super often, they wouldn't be freaks. Yeah, true. You know, if everybody well, was a freak, no one would be. It's like, that. you sound like the Joker. <laughs> right now, <bro. laughs> I was actually going yeah. for Incrediboy from The Incredibles, but yeah. Oh, okay, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. True, yeah. <laughs> They're not too different. Yeah. Who the fuck's incredible? Boy? He's the guy uh, with the hair. His, his name's... Well, uh, isn't his name like... Buddy. Syndrome. Yeah, Syndrome. Uh, yeah, my name's funny. Town Syndrome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and he's got an unusually large jaw and everything, too. He kind of yeah. does look like he has Down Syndrome. And then he starts killing oh, all the superheroes because yeah. they don't like him. Because they're he yeah. tries to be like a sidekick or something like that. And um, oh, yeah. I think yeah. you know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, the movie, yeah. if you notice, but based on all the everybody's like um, attire and the cars and the uh, decorations and stuff, and they use uh, home phones still. Like the movie takes place in like the 60s or 70s, and that's before having a Down syndrome sidekick was politically yeah. correct. So they were like, mm. "That's a no go. You're gonna have to get out of here, incredible." <laughs> We hate that, you. Yeah, yeah we actually pretty, pretty hate your guts. Yeah. To that movie, yeah. Yeah, I remember freak, in, the, in the opening <laughs> when Incredible Boy's trying to be on his side and um, uh, bomb, bomb Voyage, I think, was oh, yeah. the, the guy that sabotages the whole plan. Bomb Voyage is <laughs> yeah. a great character. Yeah, right before he does that, I think Mr. Incredible grabs Buddy by his, his collar and just goes, you should have been euthanized. <laughs> Yeah. You should have been euthanized yeah. years he, ago. He pins him down with his super strength. <laughs> Buddy's just like, ah! <laughs> and then he, and then he froze him to freeze his body. Yeah, and then they start like zapping him in the head and scrambling his brain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, they cut all that out. They figured it wasn't kid friendly. Yeah, so, yeah, so they kept the show. He just, he just fucking brought him close to his face and went, <laughs> threw him into a fire. Yeah, <laughs> he's kept it really <laughs> short. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! That was the. That's yeah. what they went with. Yeah. But what, what Brian just said was, I think it was copyrighted, which is why it was yeah. bleeped out by Saul. Yeah, yeah. I think that's why. Mm. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he, in, in post, he, he went he up to him and said a trademarked... Uh, he went, a, Mickey Mouse! And he, <laughs> yeah. he went up to him and said some beloved something from a corporation <laughs> that we would get sued over. So, which is why that was bleeped out. He went. <laughs> What's that corporate phrase that, that Poob keeps saying, Brian? No. <laughs> that one? You said please, no as soon please, as it yeah. popped up. Bleep that, dude. No. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Ooh. <laughs> Anyways, oh moving on from Poop saying racial slurs. Um, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Brian, like, I don't have fucking a thousand hours of footage of you saying, you know, the worst words known to man. Okay? <laughs> but the second, the second Poop says it. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's I, awesome. I was I was educating Brian. Yeah. Whatever, I'm not okay, gonna get so, into this. Okay, so so basically, Brian, no. it was so easy. Brian just goes, "Poop, what are some really bad words that are like derogatory that is slurs?" Not how yeah. it and Poop just starts going, "Oh, you know." No, <laughs> I think this no. one's bad. Black people not how really it was. don't like this. <laughs> Yeah. And he kept like going down the list, and Brian's just recording each and every one <laughs> all of right. them. All right, then play the other ones, Brian. <laughs> huh? You got so many know. of them. You, you got lucky. I don't have them on me. But... Oh yeah, bullshit. That's how you know I didn't say it. No, have he's got him. He's got him framed in his living press room. Press of, of a button, dude. <laughs> Oh, he's got audio clips framed. Yeah, he's got Harry audio, Potter yeah. shit. What are you talking about? Yeah, little waveforms. I got yeah, a picture he's got of the waveforms. <laughs> he got them pressed onto vinyls. One of those like the tattoos that's a sound wave yeah. that you oh. get scanned. D Abby yeah. wanted one of those, and I was like, uh, "That yeah. is the dumbest." Because yeah. it's not you can't get God, it scanned. It's not a like a bitch. I know it's not like a QR <laughs> code. It's not like yeah. a universally like, accepted thing. The only thing that scans the waveform and works is that app. It's one app yeah. that does it. Yeah, it but it's down. worth it. Yeah, 
I painted my one can... wall. I painted one entire wall with that audio clip. So whenever you scan that wall, it just goes. <laughs> 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 That's incredible. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, to change subjects, so Poop doesn't look like as much of a psycho. A in Poop's voice and everything too, it's crazy. <laughs> I've yeah. got a, I've got a, I've got a subject. I mean, we can talk about it later though if you've got one hot on right, right, now. right now. Oh, I was really just gonna bring up how you were begging and begging on your hands and knees for us. I'm to... not begging no. for shit. Okay, you I think were, I brought up. You were, you were like, you, you said, like, you wait, no, no, no. Guys, I would love to play Age of Empires, <laughs> and then he got us all together. And then oh. fucking we whooped his ass and he complained I about it. Half, I won half of the games the first night. Okay. No, 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 no. The out second of two. time, the second time, Brian just fucking went kamikaze and I felt bad for it. And so I just didn't fight back as the AI stomped me. And Poob that comes in. You didn't That's fight true. back against the AI? How would you Brian, feel bad for the AI? So you just, I was there. Brian, did you see me raise one defense against that AI as he just trickled in like four oh. guys at a time? And then no, Boom I comes in with like eight funny. elephants and goes, I'm the victim! <laughs> I did it! You're a it like, that, he you like he was dude, Hannibal crossing mean? the Alps with his fucking war elephants. <laughs> like it was the greatest yeah. military move in all of history. And it was fucking like 1230. I was supposed to be in bed 30 minutes ago. I was like, just kill me. Kill yeah. me so I can go to bed. Yeah, and Bizzle didn't know what the hell's going on. Bizzle got this second that match. Bizzle was half asleep. He's like, what's going Bizzle's on? Bizzle was not half asleep. Bizzle was no. like the one hiding his king everywhere and made me hunt him down for an extra he hit 30 his, minutes. He hit his king and Sam took out his market so he couldn't do anything for the rest of the game because he had nowhere to put wood in. I took I took out his one lumber his camp and his one market and yeah. killed every villager. And so he couldn't build yeah. anything. Yeah. Man, I'm the bad guy. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. No, but Poop's right. that guy that plays Monopoly and just, uh, just w does the longest form of of gameplay so that everybody gets demoralized and it's gives a battle up. Of attrition. Yeah. And it isn't like you... wits and you came unarmed. <laughs> is that okay. what it is? Yeah. Uh well I was gonna talk about something that was actually funny and cool, but that's really <laughs> right. not I right, those we, things. We've spent thirteen and a half minutes beating you up. Uh, what what did you bring? Is it lighthearted at least? No. I've but seen it's some kinda. I've seen some complaints it's... that we're not exactly what? the nicest of friends to each other. Have you noticed that? We feel complaining oh, about that. Does it go all ways too? Oh. Um, they're actually saying that me and Brian are pretty. Me. We're pretty cool for putting up with all the shit that you bring out in this podcast. Tame, all this yeah, negative, okay. pretty tame, pretty docile. Yeah, all I this negative yeah, behavior well, you bring. Listen, to the who podcast. doesn't mean it? All right, we know they'll, he's just. They'll come into out. my chat and be like, "Dude, I don't know why you do that. Like, it seems <laughs> awful. Like, do you even <laughs> like them?" And I'm like. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, Boob's uh, like, I like the paycheck. Yeah, <laughs> and well, I, I like the really, like I like the utilities they wave being the paid. Money over me. Yeah. yeah. They're like, well, you couldn't even fucking live without us. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're right. But I was gonna talk about the the rust uh news coming around, see what you thought about it. Cause it's pretty it's pretty funny. I don't know. Like Brian, have you seen it? You need some context. Well, I guess is for this, just context. Is it the one with Sir Winter? Yeah, they made that Rust OTV server with like all the biggest streamers, and uh, they have a PvP and a PVE server, from what I understand. Mm -hmm. And Sir Win Sir Winter killed what's his name, Trainwreck or something. One of those guys that's just like ah, and just plays games and screams like, well, okay, I'm kind of describing myself, but he's like <laughs> yeah. you know a little less subtle, a little less nuanced, you know? Yeah, and. uh Sir Winter, I saw the clip, like, you just, the guy's running down a road, and Sir Winter <laughs> kills him, and the guy's like, he's like, fuck you, or sign, res me, res me, res me, and Sir Winter, like, no, and he shoots him, <laughs> and then that guy, like, claimed that he was fucking, like, door camping and all this stuff, and now there's, like, hundreds of people, like, trying to fuck Sir Winter, you know, not fuck him sexually, but, you know, <laughs> oh, um, oh, okay. I even need to really work on how I say that. Yeah. I think uh, I think Winter would be a whole lot more open to the situation if they were trying to fuck him. Yeah. No, that could probably, yeah. probably do if something. If Trainwreck was size. like, dude, we need to make this guy pay. Drain his balls. Do whatever dude. it takes. <laughs> but, Hold I mean, him just, down. <laughs> like, so Winter has you. a hole in his door where he puts his ass through. <laughs> <and he> just, <laughs> Put your cock I, through this door, buddy. We're going <laughs> to... 
<laughs> we're gonna make you come. <laughs> wow, dude. I, I see though where like people are being like, man, don't be so try hard on this server. But also like that's a pretty <laughs> tame play. Like yeah. those guys are just absolute pussies about Russ, dude. I mean Russ is like, you know, I've got a special place for it in my heart. You know, that's where we met. That is. Uh, and it's also yeah. used to just it's like how I started streaming and stuff, you know. I've been playing since Legacy, okay? And to see these guys come on there and just bitch so much, it's like, good God. Like, uh, well, I see, that you're I see both sides of the argument. Like, mm-hmm. I don't like the way that Rust is played. I'm not, like, a huge fan I don't of think, that game yeah. and yeah, the yeah, way that it's played. Just PvP, but... Yeah, but when you consider that a bunch of streamers are making a server uh, and it's populated by streamers... I guess the end result that they're looking for is that everything that happens on that server ha- is there for entertainment purposes. Mm-hmm. And so if you're going to kill someone on site, mm-hmm. it, the least you could do is make it funny. <laughs> like he, he, you could shoot someone and then just like say some shit. It's like improv. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. I talk a big game, but if they, mm-hmm. if I got invited, I'd be there instantly. And I'd just be like a little gesture. I'd like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you, me yeah. Cause <laughs> the end result is you're not playing to win. You're yeah. playing for all the people viewing on both the person's <laughs> side that you kill and the people that are watching your stream. It's supposed to be a but big, there's some weird entertaining hip- thing. Hypocrisy. Cause <laughs> I saw like, that uh what's his name xqc no guy. people hate him yeah yeah he's being went, a little fucking asperger kid on but top a lot of, of a, a lot of shooting. people also <laughs> defended him or like he's just being the villain of the server everyone needs a good villain and then like anytime a, a rust a rust yeah. youtuber and i feel you know i feel bad for like you know it's cool that rust is getting a lot more publicity but it's not like it was a dead game before and it's i feel bad seeing people on twitter that have been playing rust for like eight years now it's just even harder for them to get viewers on Twitch. Yeah. Because, or, or, like, I don't know. It's just weird. Now, any publicity to the game is going to help them out because uh, people views, yeah. initially will get into the yeah, game true. and then they'll get into the actual community of it. But it's no, like... Yeah, I hope so. Trickle down viewership. Yeah, a tri- yeah, trickle down economics. It worked in real life. <laughs> yeah, it worked works, on Rust. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they no, just no, admitted no. that it worked the other day. Right? They shouldn't even have them in there. I Dude, that server should have... They should have had a fucking... Ch- if you oh, had, yeah. They just shouldn't have let... At, like, if you had more than a thousand man, hours or some shit, complain. you should not have been allowed on that server, I yeah. think. I, there's that's that's the biggest mistake yeah. that is let the fucking rust youtubers play with them <clears throat> well it's gonna be that's funny the you've seen there's gonna be like rust youtubers also now being like i like just jumping ship and just trying to suck like big creator dick yeah and just although being, like uh, i actually like agree with them big time like train wreck's a hero well for the record <laughs> so, I, mean, train, I think not. train wreck's is rust a fucking blockhead so, uh, like, I don't, yeah. I don't know trainer. I do know the XQC guy, and I don't think I've ever heard him say intelligible word once. <laughs> like he, it's all, every it's clip I've Canadian seen of him, he's just like screeching and like saying stuff fast yeah. and loud. I don't. Does he speak English? What is he like? French Canadian? I think he's like French Canadian or something. So I didn't yeah, know if like Brian, you know, can you translate or something? Yeah, can you know. translate for me? Like, no, does, does he God, speak English? Have f- you ever I heard him say realize. stuff? Yeah, he speaks some kind of English. Okay. Because all I no like legitimately, I'm not being like a douchebag, but all I've heard from him is oh, the you're Cheeto you're thing. Not joking. Yeah, yeah. I've heard the Cheeto thing, and then I've heard him just like laughing over the top at something and jumping around in his chair. And then I've seen a clip of him yeah. dancing behind a lady talking about anorexia. And like, then, ooh. and then I saw the clip of him uh, just killing a bunch of people from like roof camping on on Rust. Mm. And some guy was trying to get his rifle back, and he was like, he kept saying something. I didn't think he was speaking English. I didn't know what the fuck he was saying. Yeah, he just <laughs> so I was like, I don't know. I, yeah, I didn't really know if he spoke English him. all that much, you know? Which was why the he, Cheeto thing was funny. But if he legitimately speaks English, <laughs> and his like, fucking, if that guy like is completely fluent in English, <laughs> and his fucking response to saying a Cheeto was, Cheeto. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Never, I don't know what you're referencing. That's that is. That is. He might funny. be retarded. No, I don't know what that is. That's so, that's, I'm that pretty sure that's funny. why they always laugh at him. It's because he speaks English. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> no, no. The, the reason why that guy gets away with it, that XQC guy, there is some flack in him. But the reason why he gets away viewers. with it, is, yeah, because he's huge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely. That's true. But you brought but up, I, I you just... brought up a weird thing talking about how like Rust was it wasn't dead. It's I mean, weird it because dead, it's silly, not. But. It wasn't dead. It has. It's always yeah, I mean, been top ten helps. played on on yeah. Steam, but it is. Yeah. It was dead in terms of like stagnation. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. 
You know what I mean? Like, like it, a pond. It, yeah, it had like a lot of players, but it just there wasn't anything like spicing it up. Do I? I? I know. Yeah, I guess. Maybe I'm just biased because I like the Rust community. But I mean, there's still people out there on the rise. You know, spicing it up. Spoon Kid, he just blew yep. up. Yeah, he's I know. spicing it. There's all these like. Oh there's like God, a new era of Rust Spoon Rust Kid all the time. Blueprint, dude. Ryan, if I mention a person more, I don't think you have enough like Anyways, relationships. I've heard the name Spoon Kid from you at least like four times. Yeah, a hundred okay, times. Yeah. Four I, times. I don't know who you times. are, Spoon well, Kid. Well, we talked about Russ. But let me tell you something. You got All a five, friend four. in this poop guy. Dude, he's just a nice I'm, guy. My bad. Oh, uh, when I, okay, you know what the, the, funny, the funniness oh, of it? I remember when I used to talk about Omid too. Brian would yeah. be like, who is this Omid guy? I want to, I hate him. And then he played Among Us I don't with tell him. So now Brian's so now Brian, you're always like, oh, we had that double kill in Among Us. That was yeah, the sickest double, double kill, kill ever. Food? Yes, I've gotten a double kill in Among yeah, Us. Yeah, yeah, nice. Bro, try. if you had fucking more than two friends, maybe I'd hear them fucking Yo. list it off sometimes too. God. Jerry and Kobe, shut shit. up. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> you just uh, fucking you said two like iconic <laughs> NBA player names yeah, Jerry, <laughs> at the top of your head. <laughs> Classic Jerry, dude. Bro, okay. Oh, well, I'm uh, sorry. I'm just that was just no. the first name that came to my head. I mean, I don't know a lot. This should of be a quiz. Rust YouTubers. You should have taken a quiz. If you I know don't what really watch. Is you should have already been de denied application onto that server. Well, some of if them. You know I mean, some of them have it, played Rust before on stream. Yeah, and I they need to be denied. <laughs> if they know what a honeycombing is, that should be the test. If you know what a honeycomb, like what? Honeycomb dude, yeah, I guess it. Goodbye. It would be better for me if it moved away from PvP because I'm really bad at it in that game, and I have more fun like kind of you know role playing. You know, it's not yeah. even role. It's like light. Like you're just not instantly an asshole. What was that cool. that that Minecraft like, server a, that the OTV thing is based off of? Uh, yeah. yeah. What does OTV stand for? Offline TV. Offline TV. It's where the the fucking what house of all the streamer guys. Um, oh, they, it's like an actual group. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's yeah. like a streamer oh. house. Uh, I forget who's or, in it. There's people in it. They're all big. Big guys. Oh. Call Me Carson in it. You know, the guy. <laughs> yeah, I think Call Me Carson's Carson, in there. Uh, uh, that Car uh, Carayo's guy that you're talking about. A lot about. of underage Toby, women. Toby, whatever that why. one guy's name is. <laughs> um, Tabuscus is in there. Tabuscus is, is in there. Actually? No. Um, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> We're just listening uh, off. Like actual, the actual, people. literal, actually real Jerry Seinfeld. And fucking, yeah. yeah. And a real rapist. Uh, Michael Richards. <laughs> Jack the Ripper. Yeah, Michael <laughs> Richards is in there. Yeah. Uh, offline TV's really got some controversial figures in there. Yeah, but if but got they made a slots. they made a Rust thing. No, there's the one for Minecraft, the one that uh, Wilbur was on. Wilbur. Yep. So oh, I, where they were doing the like revolutions and stuff, and <laughs> I saw a bunch of thumbnails. Uh, SMP, like, <laughs> SMP, my, uh, Minecraft SMP or something. What, what does that stand for? for? I don't know. For, uh, Sims, Smile. Minecraft Sims. I smoking, guess. smoking. I know you guys. <laughs> Sucking my penis. <laughs> Sucking my penis. Minecraft. Yeah. That that <laughs> whole thing, right? That whole server, yeah. chock full of popular streamers. I don't think anybody there played the Minecraft the way it was supposed to be played. It was just there for them to interact. That's yeah. they. All they're looking for is a uh, toolbox, a playground where they can interact. That's fair. And it's and got a lot of the good. Like, you have to realize when you go into these offline TV Rust servers, you're not there to play Rust. Yeah. You're there That's to true, yeah. network Suck. and shake cocks with all yeah. the other Twitch people that are like, <laughs> um, chat, uh, what should I do next? You know, that kind of crap. Ugh, I hate that yeah. shit. I, I saw, like, I watched a little bit of Coconut Bee's stream yesterday. It seemed like he was doing it. He's right. Asian. Okay. Uh, but That's it seemed real. like he was doing it right. Uh, that's, I can, that's, well, that's I can all catch I know that. about him. Yeah. He also does no, MMA. Well, dude, we used to. He, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. He used to be in the fucking team speak. I remember. And then, and then I, think, I, think him, I think him and Bumbo hated each other. Yeah, or something. No, Bumbo oh, like wait. idolized them oh, all the that time. Was, I and then one that time, now. Bumbo yeah. and him, dude. Bumbo would just talk. It was just like you and that yeah. spoon kid. Bumbo every time yeah, he wasn't in there, he would talk about him. I'm not. Dude, I mentioned him four times. Talk about him. Yeah. Eight times max. He would talk about but, it, and then bro, one what time, are you talking about one time, he went off to go play with Coconut Bee, and he came back, and like I think it was just Brian that talked to him, but he was like, Bumble was like on the verge of tears. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> because, what? 
because fucking uh, the coconut bee just like ripped him a new one for something. I forget what. Oh, it, yeah. What was the story, Brian? All of his, all of his, like, uh, all of his followers or some shit was like making fun of Bumbo. Oh, uh, like making fun of. Him. I can't even remember what it was, but he was apparently like really fucking like oh, crying dude. or something. He's like on the verge of tears. I should yeah. say he was crying, but he's like, yeah. he was, like and I'm not talking like was... like poob on the verge of tears, but we just like, yeah, no, like you look saw... mildly irritated for one second and we act like you're on the verge of tears. Yeah. Bumbo like was literally like... crying, like uh, quaking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, he's like, I don't know why to... they, why they turn <sighs> on me. It seems typical because I feel like the perspective I heard was like, yeah, if Coconut Bee's an asshole, like for no reason, he's just a, the biggest dick ever. Mm. You know, so like, I probably got like the fucking second hand. Yeah. Like, you probably, probably got him slurs. after he slept on the situation and woke up the next morning and mm -hmm. wasn't, wasn't crying anymore. Yeah. Yeah. But that, that but was like, pretty. There was still salt lines on his cheeks. Yeah. yeah. The trails of his tears. <laughs> yeah. That's a good, uh, fucking Smokey Robinson song. But <laughs> keep going. I don't know. I said keep years. going. I was talking. Uh, <laughs> keep going. Uh, keep going. Um, Carry this thing. How much you smoke, poop? I don't smoke in the morning. Okay. First off. Second off, I never do that on the clock. Okay. Yeah. Third off, I don't even smoke. So you smoke on that. stream? No, I don't. You do. No. Sometimes Oscorp packages get delivered on my doorstep <laughs> and I investigate, but yeah. that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> little goblin gas it'd actually be it'd actually be TOS for me to smoke on stream. So if someone asks, they're like, hey man, do you light up? You already know what I say. Wait, 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 wait. The not not to tattle up. on anybody, but scoreboard. I know a guy that's in Colorado oh, no. and it's legal there. Yeah. And he smokes. No, you can smoke if it's legal. Oh, okay. Yeah, but yeah. in Indiana, it's illegal, so so you can't. It's to us. Yeah. So what he does is illegal, actually. So if you wanted okay. to call the cops to raid, well, he doesn't smoke out. on stream. He walks away, and then oh, all of yeah. a sudden he comes well, back a little bit. But they you no, know, you okay? There's yeah. a guy. There's a guy here. I'm gonna mention him once. I'll probably mention him again in the future. And Brian will say, okay. uh, uh, uh. "This okay. is uh, there's this Tarkov streamer. Oh God, uh, he killed me. Like he just fucked me up one raid, and I was like, oh, this guy's live. And I went and looked. He had like ten viewers. And he was, I was like, there's no fucking way this guy just outplayed me. The most high person I've ever seen on, on Twitch. And his, like, he was like, hey man, thanks for the follow. And then he just instantly went and he did a dab <laughs> through his nose and then hit a bong while holding in the smoke. And he's like, check this out and hit a scene and like smoke rose up. And he just had like a full, like he was growing weed in his home and had a huge like stockpile of weed. He's like, yeah, this is like, like we almost, it's almost time for the harvest. <laughs> and I'm just like, what the fuck? Dude, I'm his mod you, squad. You it's find hilarious. the wildest people on like the yeah, low awesome. view. I love it yeah, because I, I feel I like that. those people aren't putting on a show as much. You're literally getting a glimpse into their lives. And so the that, people yeah. that are home streaming at a fuck uh, Tuesday at 9 a.m., you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> those are like people that they're li they're on the fringes of uh, society anyways. And so you get just weird people. Dude, it's I used to be like in, in high school, my friends and I would go on discord and OK, this no, this isn't bad. No, this is actually good. And we just go to like, okay. you know, viewership ranked from lowest to highest. Yeah. And just kind of troll around. Not like, you know, okay, well, I'm not going to clarify that again in two days, but you troll around, you know, not being assholes. And uh, we just find people like zero viewers. And you can find some of the craziest things on like just chatting at the bottom at like 2 a.m. Yeah. Just like people like uh, either on the verge of killing themselves or people that are like Mike. making art like you've never seen before or like it's it's really it's quite beautiful not that people like you know that are like severe like people that are just sitting there like oh man like what the fuck no one no one's there for me it's no my birthday and then we come yeah. we come yeah. in we're like we're here for you buddy and then he starts talking it gets a little boring we leave um, <laughs> yeah. on to the next one yeah and then you come uh, back and the chair's <laughs> empty but you hear alarms in the, in the distance. It's just like a, and his a mom silhouette crying. of his head and blood on the back <laughs> yeah, of the yeah. wall. Yeah. Yeah. I got, I got hey. killed. Hey! We got, you, you know the classic thing. It's, it's against the rules. It's against moral code to do this. But if you're in a group of like four on Tarkov and you get killed by someone and their name is TTV, you have to Google 
their username yeah. and then tell your friends where they are and what they're doing. <laughs> oh, I've never done that. that like, that's, okay. that's just common fucking courtesy. I'm sorry. I'm screen peeking. <laughs> okay, so I got yeah. killed. I think I've, I've talked about this before, I think, but this guy fucking cracked me up, dude. I got killed by this dude who was basically an extra from The Sopranos. Like, he was... <laughs> <laughs> this guy was not a normal gamer. No RGB nothing. He was playing in a fucking, like, Italian living room, and his hair is straight up just slicked back. Like, slicked back. And he's he has a glass guy. ashtray, like a fucking <laughs> 1970s detective on his desk. And he's fucking like, this guy is sitting forward pit. and he's kind of fat and he's just sitting here smoking like this. And he's just like, <laughs> oh, hey, hey, Sam. Yeah, dude, I, yeah, it was a good fight. Good fucking fight. Debra! <laughs> I told you in a minute. He ashes a cigarette, like puts it out angry. This guy was like high octane angry. Yeah. Just and like everything he did, he was just like, you can tell the guy's blood pressure was just boiling because he was just like fucking angry. He lit up like four cigarettes and didn't finish a single one. He would smoke them halfway and then just angrily put them out in his ashtray. And by the That's way, awesome. he killed me. And then he killed Willard, and then he killed Fungal, and I think he killed Muscle Bus. He killed all four of us while he was also just screaming at his wife. Oh, yeah, his blood pressure was just like dangerously. I've never seen someone winning, but also just fucking pissed off. The guy was just, he wasn't happy about it, you know? It wasn't about the game. It was just there. killing us was just extending his wife's life by minutes, mere minutes. Like that guy, if he didn't have Tarkov. He would be slinging so that. He would be stuffing that ashtray in into a sock. God, and yes. whacking that bitch over the head with it. Yeah. It's like, do you yeah. want me to heat up the meatloaf? Just, just admit it, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Just a minute, just bitch. A minute. <laughs> Look, I'm killing stuff. God. I don't think I followed him either. I wish I could find that guy. Oh. Yeah, never found him again. Piece never. Shit. He's probably in prison right now. That guy does not look like he was meant for gaming. For a fucking homicide. Yeah, homicide, yeah. Oh, man. And then you found Fobtac. I forgot oh, about yeah, Fobtac. Fob He's great. Fobtac is one of my most epic little finds. I, that sounds that sounds like pretentious to say, like, my finds. Like, yeah. My little, you know, my little darlings. Thing, but he's, he's one, one of my, of my freaks. Darlings. He's a human yeah. freak no. that I have. Yeah, he's one of my, my humans I collect. No, uh. <laughs> No, that guy is fucking awesome. That guy, that guy puts so much effort into his streams and it manages to do it like day in and day out with, you know, not very high viewership. Uh, fucking, fucking dope. Also, the only, one of the only ones where like the person actually got like, you know, maintained viewership after I raided them was, uh, Bacon Mom, uh, who I've been following <laughs> for like five years. Which is just like a, a grandma that plays Minecraft, and she just has like the mm -hmm. most. Like she's been playing for years. She plays so slowly too. I mean, she's like old, but she plays with her husband, and they like they. I've raided her like years ago. I raided her a couple months ago, and then one of my viewers put a the clip that like she was like, "Oh, mm -hmm. hey, welcome!" Like. Let me show you what I've been working on. And she played this like flute, this like pan flute music that her and her husband made. It was like the most whimsical music. And it was her showing her world. And it was like the most insane Minecraft world I've ever seen. Like it's all like she's a she's like an artist. She uses this and it was like these beautiful patterns and like these mountains made of rainbows. It's all like Powerpuff Girl aesthetic almost. And like Someone, one of my viewers, put it on Reddit and it blew up and it was like number one on like gaming or something. And now she gets like a hundred viewers. And I fucking subbed to her like um, two months ago, and she's like, "Papa Poob, oh welcome, like thanks." I'm like, "You don't fucking remember me? I've been subbed for like four years, <laughs> uppity bitch, bitch. Yeah. yeah, I made you. Well, up and act I like you don't know you. anybody." Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. No, she's awesome. She's like the sweetest person I've ever seen on. She had like. Like that a point. Real, no, like a real, like a really sad building, like dedicated to like the grandson she isn't able to see and all this stuff. I'm like Jesus, like 
It was so fucking. She'd sad. probably be able to see him if she, uh, you know, didn't spend all this time mm-hmm. on Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, but it's true. Minecraft is better. Yeah. Merger, yeah. Like, Minecraft she sells, is way like, better. Calendars. Yeah. Like Play that's Minecraft like what she sells. Diaper. So cute. Yeah. No, yeah, you were telling me about that. Yeah, her fucking kids are not allowed to see her or something because yeah. her actual kids are like, you can't see our grandkids. Yeah, like there's some like, crazy like family some drama. Bad blow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nothing better than family drama to make a good Minecraft stream. You think it wouldn't, but stuff like that can fuel artists. You know, I would know. Yeah. You know, yeah. a lot of drama went into, you know, my parents' divorce. It's this mm-hmm. one. Uh, Parents one? killed themselves. That one. Oh, um, parents resurrected by crude science. That one. No, yeah. that'd be the other one. Man, no. That explains yeah. why I have no artistic abilities because my life has been beautiful. Yeah, so perfect. From yeah, the moment you I was already born. live in a beautiful artistic world. Yeah, yeah. So um, you I don't know. have to alter your reality at all or make it, friends. Yeah, yeah like none of that. I'm my own friend. Why do yeah. I need oh, him? Wow, you know. I'm my favorite person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love me so much. <laughs> yep. And, uh, yeah. yeah. You know, I feel like Brian would make, you would think Brian would make a great artist because his life seems so pretty tortured. traumatic. Yeah. Yeah. But instead, he's just mean to everybody and has absolutely <laughs> he, no artistic he ability. He can go one of two ways. Yeah. yeah. He's just turned into yeah. a verbal Satan. Yeah, and that's it. My it's first, like a, my first ever puppy just like had a, a seizure. And I watched it he's, die. He's like one of those <laughs> gremlins that, like, you feed water after or feed food after midnight or get wet. Yeah, like, that's you're like the human equivalent of like an evil mogwai or whatever the fuck they're called. Oh, are they just gremlins when they're evil? I think they're just and gremlins. They're like, yeah, they're just gremlins. Mo- Mowgli or mogwai. Or, wait, that's just the name of it, right? They look like Furbies. I can't remember right? what it's fucking called. You've seen Gremlins, though, right? Yeah, yeah they were like little I, When I when saw that when I was a kid, that's one of the movies that had the PG-13 rate or PG rating, and then they made up the PG-13 after it came out. That and yeah. Temple of Doom. Uh, because they eat the brain soup or whatever. So I watched that movie with my mom. She was like, oh, it's like PG, whatever. And so she let me watch it, and they got to the scene where they throw it in the fucking blender and start blending mm-hmm. up the, the Gremlin. And it traumatized me. Really? Yeah. Well, you, so you're a little pussy kid. Huh? I was a little pussy, yeah. Because how was you know, my parents let me want like any rating <clears throat> when I was you know little? It didn't affect me at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're surrounded by. Yeah. yeah, but no, I mean they just they were just like, hey, don't fucking cry, all right? At like, knife point, they up. they were like, yeah. you cry and. <laughs> Don't ruin this fucking movie for us, okay, kid? <laughs> I'm trying to make out with your mom here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking to get finger blasted in this movie. Yeah, yeah, here, well, okay, yeah. You kid? look, you look over. She's getting blasted. Did you, <laughs> you guys, if you cry, the movie attendant will fucking look over you. Yeah. You guys ever do that that classic any sexual stuff in a movie theater when you were in high school, middle school? Like, did I? Get, did I get fingered in a movie theater? Yeah, did you ever get fingered in a movie theater? <laughs> Not really. I think I held hands in one once. So. Oh, you badass! One time, I one time I I cut out the hole in my popcorn. I jerked myself off, <laughs> <laughs> but I left all the popcorn in there, so it burned yeah. really bad. I was like, ah! I've always heard of that <laughs> trick, Modern and salt. I I feel like by the time you they <laughs> Not, yeah, I feel like by the time they eat enough popcorn to get down there, it's. First of all, you're going to yeah. get popcorn like the kernel shells caught up in your foreskin yeah. would be sharp. And then Ooh. your cock would get soft because you're like waiting. Like, could this bitch well, eat you any slower? You have foreskin. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. They uh, grab onto like a fig or something. Or that's what, 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 I, what I preferred was that I'd get a hot dog. I'd eat the hot dog and I'd put my penis in the bun. <laughs> and then I'd just hold it there like in front of me. And I'd put ketchup on it to, <laughs> to make okay, it look yeah. more real. But what? <laughs> What woman goes, give me that hot dog and just like grabs just the, the, <laughs> just the top. The, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stick their no, hands she grabs up. the bun and, and fucking you moves, like jerks you off like a pocket and pussy. you can't <laughs> innocuously, the whole point of the cock and the popcorn is you can act like you're digging for popcorn and whacking them off. But you can't oh, sit God. there and like whack off a hot dog. Like, <laughs> no, she just yeah. eats it. It's no. the best way to get a blowjob at <laughs> one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, that lady! Hot slice of pizza. That lady really oh, refuses oh. to bite. She just. <laughs> I get a I get a slushy and I fucking put my penis in. And I put the straw in my penis hole. And she sucks out uh, the sperm and I'm just like. Ah! 
<laughs> screaming. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Dude. I remember the theater's dead quiet. I'm just screaming at the top of my lungs. <laughs> it's like Finding Nemo or some <laughs> shit. They just... <laughs> They just found whoa, Nemo. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, this shit. <laughs> I like how when I go out of focus, the the, the text stays in focus. That's a good yeah. touch. <laughs> yeah. What does the text uh, say? Yeah, I can't read it. It's too small. You picked like the, the worst font, I think. Like the font that pisses I just, me off the most. <laughs> I, it's just the same font from the Happy Holidays text. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, sorry about That's, that. You're what if I. Comic Sans it. Uh, yeah, for the, that's not Comic yeah, thank Sans. You. That's like that's like fight that's like pretty That's pretty like, hip and cool. Yeah. Yeah. I don't get people how how do people not can't read like cursive? I don't get it. I don't see why well, we learned like cursive. Grandma, yeah, what's that's even true. The cursive point? was a waste of time. I've never all you gotta do is learn how to sign your fucking name and that's it. The worst part was teachers in elementary school being like, Yeah, you're gonna that's need it. to know how to do this once you get to <laughs> high school. Like like some bitch that couldn't be a college professor coming to my small school and just taking her rage out. I'm like, you have to get your cursive right. You have to know these things. Like, you have to be able to do all this math in your head. And then you get to high school. I didn't use cursive. You know, maybe it's different for your age group. But, like, by the time I got to high school, cursive was obsolete. I never once used it in high school. Yeah, no, in I math, they just, they're like, here's a calculator. Yeah, they're okay. like we have calculators. Like, yeah, I was always like, the... I was I was always that little asshole kid that'd be like, "Well, can't I just use a calculator?" Like, no, yeah. like you're not always gonna have a calculator. Ah, uh, I doubt uh, that. Uh, I doubt that I'm not just gonna. Have you ever heard of a of... fucking phone, yeah. dumbass? Like, iPhone just came maybe out, in you the bitch. '80s. You couldn't walk around yeah. with a Ti eighty two in your back pocket, but bitch, it's twenty twenty. I, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be a streamer. I don't need to do math. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to do math. I just yeah. need to know how to talk for a long time and not actually say anything. That's really and the, that's the talent of being a Twitch streamer is you don't actually say anything. You say everything, bad. but mean nothing. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Anything I say on stream is a joke. Dude, oh God, I hate to, people, audiences, I think it was, well, I got raided by Aqua yesterday. And you know, no. it's, it's a different world, like. You know, your viewers painfully viewers, upbeat. They've, they've got their own versions of things that make me sick. Yeah. Oh, and shit, uh, okay. the awkward viewers, though, I'd be like, yeah, and I sucked your pussy dry. And everyone would be like, what? You did what? Like, what the what? fuck? Yeah. I'm like, I, I obviously was joking. Like, I, <laughs> I didn't actually do any of these things. Like, I'm, you know, playing it up. Yeah. And then, like, like, I've food got. Dehydrator. Yeah. I've got your viewers that like I say that and they're not like what you actually did that they're just like oh my god this guy's insane he <laughs> means everything he says but it's yeah. like I like it but you know you know what's funny though is is uh, Aqua thinks that we have a huge cross audience like there's a lot of people that watch both of oh, us overlap and I think at one point we did I don't think so anymore <laughs> I think we have a very different audience at right now. I, I, I'd like to. I'd be interested to see your Twitch analytics. It shows you uh, who you share the most viewers with in your audience. Really? Really? Yeah. Probably yeah. him. Because mine's all. He's... Mine's all like Omid and Aqua. Yeah. Probably. You know. Well, the, like you're that. the only people I talk to. So. Yeah. That being said, so, yeah, who, do you, who do you like more, Aqua's viewers or Sam's viewers? Me. Yeah. Probably Aqua's. Uh, well, r right now I'll say your viewers, and then if I ever get on the gamer hole, I'll say Aqua's you viewers. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm playing both sides. That way. So, I what podcast do you lie on? <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, well, he's sweating. <laughs> I'm gonna say that one now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah I lie on the gamer hole. Stop revealing uh, your pants. I, I don't think that it's a sunny in Philadelphia reference, but uh, yeah, I don't no. think. Uh, I don't think they're going to have me on after they've seen me on the forehead field. You know, they used to be well, like, hey, we want you on the gamer hole. We want you on the gamer hole. And I started doing these. I haven't heard anything back. Yeah. Because they're, I don't know. I'm uh -oh. scared. They, Actually, I, no, they're I, not. They I, just had Sam on it. Again. I yeah. invited they myself like me. on there and oh. I didn't let no, oh. I didn't take no for an answer. You never do. No, never really no for an answer. Yeah, you I can ask Abby. Abby. But, um, I didn't think he got his kids. <laughs> no, I, uh, 
And yeah, she actually never wanted children. Did you know that? <laughs> no. She still stands by that. She says, you you take care of those little shits. <laughs> Most unmotherly person I've ever met. Yeah. But uh, no, Aqua was like, yeah, I got to do like a podcast thing tomorrow and then we can stream or something. I forget what we're Oh, we're playing a game after that together. Mm-hmm. Oh, and yeah, I was yeah, like, was... Uh, I was like, okay, yeah. Anyways, um, I'm going to come along and be on the gamer hole. And he goes, oh. Okay. <laughs> you know, Aqua, he can't say no, you know? Yeah. Uh, except for the camping. It's weird. He'll say no to that in, in, yeah, to God. himself. He won't say it to us, but he'll say it to himself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's, he's like, going. no, I'm going, but on the inside, he's like, I'm not going. I'm not, that's not going to happen. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. We need to, uh, like, inception oh. them into wanting to go or something. I don't know, or maybe like hypnosis or yeah, or threats, just physical threats. I was gonna, I think I, that you. might be more in line with what we need to do. Yeah, yeah. You know what it is? He doesn't like camping, and I don't think he's very fond of anyone there. So I think That's that also true. might I be. I think a lose likes, lose situation. I think he likes most of the people going. He probably just doesn't like camping. Right? He's a city boy. No, yeah, I think he really just doesn't care for us. A whole lot. No, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. He raided me. He likes me. He, it's all politics, man. <laughs> yeah, it's all politics. It's not politics, okay. He plants no, the seed be, now so he can show it later That's the beauty of Twitch. Big. Everybody acts like they like each other. You notice that? They're like I celebrities. I do like a, a lot of... I don't, I, you know, I, don't, I don't know many other streamers. Like, I know people in streamer oh, communities yeah. I don't like, but there's not many streamers I, you know, I'm like... Like who? Like man. who? Name one. So that you don't like Steve. Go on. <laughs> okay, okay, that's oh, just fine. kidding. No, I, I like Steve. Uh, I don't know. I can't think of any off the top of my you head. You just said you had some. You just had a few. Just come on, just one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just one. I just want one name. Just one guy, and just one. Just throw yeah. one under the bus right this now. This isn't. This isn't podcast talk. Anymore. Get rid of them. Get, this is after <laughs> no, hours. Talk. No, this is no, podcast. But talk. there's no like streamers themselves. I'm like. This fucking guy. Like, I, I'm not gonna raid someone. Then you know, afterwards, be like, Ugh. like, I don't think that happens that much. Except for maybe like you and Pestley. You guys have this weird feigned friendship, even though yeah, you know, he, he hates you. And now I bet he doesn't like me now because I was there that day. <laughs> yeah, and you were laughing about it too. You thought it was funny. Yeah, you, well, I, you la- I thought it was a big joke. It was. I funny, also yeah. thought it was a big joke. I thought people in this chat were lying because it was like. You know, he wouldn't thought, be that. He wouldn't be mad about that. Yeah. Well, his his chat like came over and they weren't upset. They were like, Pestley's mad, like <laughs> like joking about it. And I thought that meant like I thought it was like a joking thing. Turns out it wasn't. It wasn't a you joke. You need to be able to hear I wish you could hear your viewers. Like every time they typed, you heard their voice in your head. That way you'd know if they were Yeah, like, that's a great way Pestley's to simulate mad, like, insanity. Mad. <laughs> yeah. That would be a good way to simulate yeah. insanity. Yeah. Yeah. A thousands of voices in your head <laughs> yeah, speaking just at echoing. once. Yeah. I'd just oh, be streaming be and drooling at my computer. That's basically what that would be. I wish I could look <laughs> through the webcam to all my viewers. Plugged them. into the matrix. Yeah. yeah, like the fucking yeah. uh, what's his name, the architect. Oh yeah, the, yeah. I, I like, wish I could like see the, the one character. the one female viewer in each stream. <laughs> you can jerk off to them. Yeah, and then jerk. Yeah, and they could see me jerking off to them. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's and then like I get to see their reaction to, yeah, little, to me jerking off to them. And they Special can't little penis can't. They can't it's leave. Only, yeah, they can't, they can't move their webcam. It's cheating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, that's my that's my version of the Louis C.K. thing. I want that's my socially distanced Louis C.K. idea, and I think that's it's okay to do because it's socially distanced. That's why he oh. got in trouble, right? Is because the the yeah. chance of communicable COVID. diseases. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think that's why. COVID oh five, I think it was. Yeah, that's or just thing. STDs and stuff. I think they're. Yeah, that was the main concern. Was that you're very dangerous with that HPV or whatever he's got in his his penis. Let's use up. Part of the elite legion of dribblers. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a question. I think we need to make a dribbler gang. <laughs> dribbler, dribbler gang. <laughs> dribbler no gang. double dribble in this bitch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that could be cool. Oh, what, yeah. Ryan? What's your question? Have you ever have you ever think that there is at least one chick mm-hmm. that has masturbated to the thought of you? 
No, that's not a possibility. A mil- that is a not a million, <laughs> not, a million not, subscribers. Not a million years. No, nope. there could be one. No, there could be. I, dude. No, there's. Okay, I will admit. I will admit. Female, there's, women. there's women. There's yeah. women. I know there's women. Yeah. Half of them are gay. Most of them are gay. All yeah, of them, I think, are gay. The other one? portion. The other they portion of them started watching. The other portion of them were dudes at one point. <laughs> <laughs> that have been transitioned to women, so I I don't think there's any biological women that identify as women that see me and want to masturbate. One, just one out of a no. million. About, do you, think you don't think there's like okay, yeah, a guy or a girl? Unironically, not uh, there's even probably a guy or... that's jerked off because guys will whack off to anything. Like one time, it's like they, easy, yeah. Me one and a, me like and Rita, in me and Rita in the Discord, we were talking about. We we're like, what are those weird sexual things you used to do as a kid? You know, in those prime years of just like fucking major horniness when you're like a teenager. Like, what are like the weird things you used to do sexually? And one thing that he said, well, I I had brought up the shampoo bottle thing. Have you ever done that where you take the lid off the shampoo bottle and put your cock into it? Couldn't fit. I simply couldn't. No, fit. okay, so that's that's my story. Is like I used to do that when I was like younger. I would like put my cock down in the shampoo bottle because it's like burn? the soap in it. No, everybody says that, but my pee hole is like closed. It's not like one of those open, open ones. Well, my penis is just so big that the pee hole. Yeah, well, no, too. seriously. Yeah. So well, I guess because you were a, what are you like a little no, baby. That, the that's time? the thing. Then I hit like teens, right? And like I did it, and like my cock got hard, and then I it got stuck. Uh, <laughs> it got uh, stuck in the shampoo bottle because I had ooh. I had gotten bigger, you know, and then I had to sit there in the shower and fucking. Get pour like tilt it up so the shampoo comes down on my penis and like try to get it as soaked up as possible and painfully pull my cock yeah. out of it. Uh, and we're, we're laughing about that because Rita's like, okay, I used to put my cock in the shampoo bottle too. Why? And then and then he was like, You ever fuck the tile corner? And what? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? What? what? <laughs> No. Oh, okay. What are okay, you talking so is, about? Because I've done that too. This is a weird what? thing that there has to be somebody out here that's fucked the tile corner. All right, well, where the tile, the tile meets in the corner of the shower, <laughs> you fucking you just push your belly and your cock up into it, and then you <laughs> soap it up. What? You soap it up first, and it kind of, it doesn't feel good, but it feels better than nothing. And you just like uh, fucking hump the corner. Why? It only works if there's a good caulking job in the corner there, or else like the tile sharp. So then, uh, uh, but he, he, I was like, you know, you fucking, you always have to take the shower wand and like make sure the tile's not cold, so you like hose it down with the hot water first. <laughs> and he's like, I know plan. what you're talking about, man. Yeah, dude. You, yeah, man, you're like fucking semi pro at that shit. You're jerking off in the shower. With different tools. Oh yeah, different little Linus tech tips. You not just there. have your own bedroom with a lock on it or something, right? You're like fucking. Yeah, it's boring. How, how many how many years can you whack off in your bedroom before you get bored? Come on. No, I the closest Spice thing. I think I mentioned this like a long time ago, right on here. Mm-hmm. The closest thing I did to something retired like that is I took two balloons and then in a bathtub oh, yeah. and tried to, and tried to tip fuck it, thinking, oh, it's like just like in the. It's the just movie. like titties, yeah. Yeah, and it was it actually just hurt my dick really bad. Oh yeah, <laughs> it was horrible. All the, and it the was, static and the electricity was you got in the shower. With the yeah. static electricity. I mean, you know, I'm not an electrician, but I assume you could blow up if you <laughs> if you jerked off too hard on. I, sh- I shocked myself. It hurt really bad. It sounded horrible. It was the worst. <laughs> yeah, it's, it. All the like the balloons yeah. rubbing together. Yeah. Yeah. You ever try like putting your cock in a vacuum cleaner tube? You know. No, I just was the, afraid it'd rip all the skin off. Like uh, here's meat. what happens. They have the yeah. there's a metal clip thing at the bottom for you to attach the vacuum head to, right? Yeah. Well, at least on the vacuum that I grew up with, it was it was like a sharp metal clip. Oh, and then you turn on the vacuum cleaner and it, it sucks in some oh of your God. scrotum because of the sec- the suction oh. and it can cut your scrotum. Oh my God, <laughs> dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah this, this is, is just a hypothetical. Like that could happen. I'm not saying yeah, it, it happened to happen. me. It could be laid up in bed for like three weeks. Yeah. yeah. But it might I... scare you from ever putting your cock into a vacuum cleaner ever again. <laughs> yeah. A little yeah. Nick. I used yeah. to, you know, 
fuck the sink, the sink downstairs, the, the kitchen. I just, oh, 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 and I turn on the garbage <laughs> yeah. disposal. Yeah. 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 And let it shred me up pretty bad. And then I, no. I'm, I actually have, like, Hellraiser uh, tendencies, so. <laughs> yeah, I would actually just sit there and step on my own penis and stuff. And <laughs> it wouldn't, wouldn't mount it, so I wouldn't, you know, boom, hit it on a table. Yeah. Wow. I feel, like, off, I feel like I feel like and then reattach it. Poop's feeling really ashamed about just manually masturbating his whole childhood. Yeah, I guess, I, yeah, I guess I'm a fucking freak. <laughs> I'm just doing yeah. it. You know? Fucking freak. I just, I'm you black fucking and white. Sicko. I, didn't, I didn't even think. I never even have one thought like the corner of the shower. <laughs> oh yeah, I can fuck that. Right. That was, that was the you, sexiest man. shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> can't even yeah, act like looks you like an it. asshole now that I look at it. You're gonna look at it differently now. You're gonna go in there. I don't. I'm afraid to take a shower. Hour now i probably will fuck it yeah god damn oh, no. it with vacuums i dude I oh, wait hold on like... someone's here oh shit i dude the vacuum thing i've seen people like talk mm -hmm. about how great it is oh, it's the federal express have you heard of that Boob? what what heard about like putting your penis how... in a vacuum yeah people say it's amazing it doesn't seem like it'd be great because it's like what is like that in the sex okay world? nothing nothing's like like a, a blowjob, blow they're like, oh, like it's not, it's not them just, it's not the suck power of it that, like, yeah. you know. <laughs> well, people don't know. I don't know. Like, well, is there any? Be... Well, I mean, there's vibration. I imagine. Is it, can you get like a and, tongue attachment it's for warm. it? <laughs> yeah, is maybe, it warm? Maybe if it lube, is it I don't warm know. in a I... vacuum? In the vacuum yeah, of space, air. it's cold. It's hot air, isn't it? Well. I don't know what, like, I don't I, know. maybe, I think I could probably get People, better time if I put my dick in a hair dryer <laughs> and turned it, dude, turned it on. Said no, no, the thing is, like, I, yeah, I've heard people say it, but, like, there's some people that, like, I've seen a picture of a guy who died. He fucking, it was, like, it was a picture of him, he was dead, he was hanging I'm himself <laughs> by, like, a belt or something, and then he also had his dick attached to a fucking vacuum, so clearly it's oh, pretty good. I hope he, it's I hope he at least died. nutted before he died. <laughs> he probably did. He was. Because what if he didn't? And he's just like the last seconds. He's like, I'm so close. I'm so close. <laughs> he, he, died. he fucking passed out. No, and then he, he just nutted. shits himself. And... He probably oh, nutted the nut and killed he, him. He couldn't get out. Yeah, no, he just couldn't oh. get out after. Oh, then, dude. Well, know. that's like someone that's into like asphy asphyxiation stuff, too. If they're yeah, but like he, choking yeah. himself by a belt. And maybe, like, maybe a vacuum cleaner is like getting your dick choked, you know? It sucks well, all the air out of it. That guy, he died with the ultimate pleasure, basically. That guy died a hero. Brave Dirty. enough to try. What what I'm back, else. and all I know is we're talking about auto asphyxiation deaths, maybe. Yeah. Well, you know, I yeah. talking about the va fucking a vacuum thing, and I was talking about how that guy. There's like a picture of the guy who died hanging himself with mm. a vacuum attached to his dick. Uh, I saw a guy that died. Alexa, he had meat hooks in his back, and he was Ooh. hanging up by the ceiling. Oh wait, no, I'm thinking Hellraiser again. Yeah, either yeah. that or the <laughs> cell. You ever seen that movie? I, I don't think so. Oh, that's a great, that's a great one. Ah, oh, God, I hate that kind of, like, I mean, I was talking about that last time, like, body gore stuff. It's yeah, just, yeah, I mean, I gore. like it in Hellraiser is better. Like, it's better when I, when it's a movie, obviously. I'm like, fake. But I can tell, yeah, it's a movie. I'm not like, you know, I watch a movie about ghosts. You know, maybe I do get a little scared when I go to bed, <laughs> but, you know, I know there aren't ghosts. I know there's not a Hellraiser world out there somewhere, you know, these fucking, whatever they're called. Cinnabites! Cinnabites, yeah. Oh God, I yeah. What? It... Well, oh, you know, I'm. Oh, I, that's kind of heavy. I don't mind. Never mind. No, say it. Say it. What, what is it? No. Heavy. It's heavy just a little. I mean, I was just gonna say, like, I mean, I don't know. Have you guys ever seen like a dead person, like not at a funeral? Have you ever seen someone like die? Kind of. Uh, we were talking about the lady that got shot yesterday. Or, uh, no, I mean like in person. Oh, I've seen. Oh, yeah, oh, I've oh, seen oh, car oh, crashes oh. where people have died. Yeah. Yeah, in like, person? I mean, yeah. I don't know. I think I think when I saw that for the first time, I was just like, oh uh, no, there was I, that there was that fat cunt that died at the uh, at that apartment uh, building I worked at. I saw even, him. Oh yeah, even at like Colorado, I saw I li like car crash stuff. Does I mean it's not as bad as it's way, but like when I was on the train, literally saw right on the river in one of the biggest canyons, a semi had like gone through a fence probably just minutes before we passed. In the semi fucking flipped upside down somehow in the entire compartment. Like you'd think they'd be more sturdy. It was not even that big of a drop. The entire top compartment was smashed down. Like it was like it just looked like in like just the trailer for a semi. 
And then we were like looking closer and we're like, holy shit, that's upside down. And like the compartment's all smashed, but Oof. I've seen like a dead person like up close and it's just fucked. Yeah. And it was like, Ooh. it it like literally like. Who was it? it? It just like, it just happened. Was it a stranger? I don't really wanna, yeah, I don't want to talk about it too. It was like a kid too. Oh, uh, what really, the hell? Yeah. That's horrible. You know, if you went to Hogwarts, you would be able to see those things. I know, yeah, there's no benefit in the real world. Except yeah. for, like, you know, I feel like a a weird byproduct. Like, I'm not even going to get into this, too, because it's just, like, long. But I can't, like, my mental images are, aren't very good. Like, I feel like it would be really hard for me to get, like, PTSD or something. <laughs> like, I, I don't, I can't picture stuff very well. Like That's pretty lucky. Know. Yeah. It's not it's not lucky on like most things, but yeah, stuff like that. Like I should be I should go to war, basically. I'm like a super soldier. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. I'm like Captain America. <laughs> is that really the, oh. the basis you have for what Captain America is? Is that he yeah. he is incapable of getting PTSD? Yeah, he could just blow right? a kid's head That's off. That's what they they like, gave Whoop. him some serum that just made his memories mm. like really super fuzzy and he can't picture things. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, once so, you once you escape the limitations of your past, yeah. you grow physically. Mm. That's how I hit my growth spurt. You said there was no benefit in the real world, but there is at Hogwarts and everything, being able to see those nargles or those whatever are, they're called. Yeah, nargles. Yeah, that is what they're called. I'm pretty sure you know you know more about Harry Potter than I expected. Mm. Actually, I mean, uh, Luna like Lovegood uh, actually talks about nargles. They're not nargles, but there's something else. What do you mean? Narwhals. No, but uh, no, she's the other. There, so you know. they're, they're... Yeah, she's the one that's oh. like, well, you, you just have to see them, Harry. Yeah. Every, only, only us can see them. Yeah, yeah, but they're not called nargles. That nargles are something else. She's the one that talks about nargles. I forget what they're called. Oh, yeah, maybe they're called like uh, creepy horses. Yeah, creepy they... skinned up yeah. horses. Skeletons. <laughs> yeah. Skinless horses. What are they? Yeah, what are they they're called? like these. Like... They're like these horse things, and they're like. Have you ever seen Harry Potter? Like the the carriages just get pulled around, and everyone's like, "Oh, they just float." Yeah. But yeah. like, if you've seen someone die, you get to see like what act- <clears throat> they're like just horses. Basically, it doesn't translate well to like, the movie, <laughs> but in the fucking Thestrals. in the books, Thestrals. Yeah, Thestrals. Yeah, Is that what they're called. Yeah, in the book, you know, they ride these things and they talk about them every book. They're like, "Oh, we're riding the fucking carriages that float on their own to Hogwarts," and then on like the fifth book, it's like. Harry's like, yo, why the fuck can I see the things pulling these? So it's more of an impact because he's he's seen uh he's seen uh, uh fucking serious black, black die, uh which really was a pathetic death. He just moved behind a fucking curtain and then was like, dead, you know. Yeah. And that how he what, died in the in the what in the book or the movie? The book. I don't remember. He I just like he, like he went behind a curtain and then, and then was like, I'm gone, like a magic trick. <laughs> In the he world of Harry Potter, like, he did the worst dog out of trick. <laughs> he did the equivalent of yeah. like holding up a, a towel and then running away while it drops yeah. <laughs> and died. That was his way like, of getting out of parenting it. Harry. He was like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> but uh, in the movie, they're like, he can see him because his parents died, right? Because yeah. it doesn't happen in earlier before Sirius Black died. It, it happens in the fourth one. I think okay. his mom's head know. explodes like a fucking watermelon. Okay, you watch that happen. Yeah. Well, wait, but doesn't Sirius Black die in like the fifth? Yeah, one? no, no. Okay, okay. The Thestrals is the sixth one. Happens in the fifth one. There okay. you go. There yeah. you go. No, because why the fuck would he know he was a baby when his parents fucking got? But he was eaten. there, and he was like, yeah, but he was there, but he's not like he was like, what the hell am I watching? He yeah. didn't know what the hell was going on. I mean, he's crying. He's shitting his he's pants. Least, yeah. You know what he's, I fucking never got as a kid when I was watching Harry Potter? Or when Harry Potter was big and every all my friends were reading it in, like, fourth grade, right? They they were like, yeah, so, like, Harry's, like, this little kid. And then there was, like, this big guy, he who shall not be named. He killed his parents and stuff. And I go, like, why? <laughs> like, why yeah. did he kill it? And they never answer that until, like, the sixth book or something, like, way later. Yeah. But I'm like, this motherfucker better have a great reason as to why he kills this random kid's parents. <laughs> yeah. Like they never yeah. answer it. Well, he's not just like you know a he, good guy a anyway. Special, he kills all he sorts makes a of fucking special things. trip down to his house to kill just his <laughs> parents. <laughs> they were like important wizards, though. Like they really were. They're they fucking though. some yeah. nerd with circle glasses. I've seen the movies and read the books. 
But they were still, they're like, your dad was an incredible wizard and your mom yeah. was a good witch. Yeah, you know what made it them like, incredible wizards? The fact well, that they their were kids, in, the wait, one no, no. that stopped Voldemort. Sorry, well, if, they that, were also, if that shocks any viewers that I said his name. I'm they were sorry. part of the like original rebellion, right? Or whatever, like the half the Phoenix Order or whatever the fuck. Dude, uh, I don't know. It's been a long time since I've done I've I want some been Harry, in Harry Potter realm. Okay? Yeah, I don't know shit about Harry Potter. I've never so been to the this. Orlando uh Harry Potter place and drank butterbeer. No, I haven't. Slash I've tried butter so beer, good. it's gross. I was one of those official. I was Unironically, one of those people that didn't want to see the movies when they came out because I felt like it ruined it. it. Yeah, it ruined my mental image of what I thought Hermione's fucking tight ass would look like. But and you were phew. like, mm, "All right, yeah. this will do." And then, yeah, she. When yeah. you got to the later ones, of, of course, course, the later ones. Once the uh, well, when like I was the reading the books, I only now. became attracted to these characters as they came of age. Yeah, but you were the eight same age as them, right, or something. That's not okay Technical. still. To conjure up mental images. Because, yeah, um, dude, when I was reading Percy Jackson, I was like, oh, my God, I just know this chick's got big titties. Yeah. And then the movie came out, and it was that one chick, and I was like, yep. Uh, but the movie sucked. <laughs> oh, wait. What's her name? Did, who? Oh, Alex Daddario or whatever played that. Oh, oh. wait. Oh. Do, doesn't she have fucking fat uh, titties in... Uh, uh, True Detective. True Detective? Yep. One of the best nude scenes of any show ever. Absolutely, because Woody Harrelson's there too. No, I was about that to say sense. it would be so much better if Woody Harrelson's fucking cinder block head wasn't there with his like his crimson <laughs> chin jawline. Yeah, it was just her like yeah, yeah. like eating herself out. Yeah, yeah. What a scene! Like a dog just like leg up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just head waving down, <laughs> like straight up. Oh, uh, it's one of the hottest, <laughs> fucking yeah, it's the hottest scenes. scene in the world. That was a, that was a great show. That season, the first I season mean, of True Detective was awesome. Yeah, third yeah. season Who was vanished. pretty good. I never watched the second one because I heard it sucked. Uh, Even though it sucks because the huh. second season has what Vince Vaughn, Vaughn, Vaughn in uh, it, which means Colin I didn't want to watch it. Yeah, Ugh. Colin Farrell. I mean, Colin Farrell, not Colin Firth. I just you the know, just the ending line of the first season. And I was like, that's it, dude. I'm just going to pretend like this shit's like, done with. <laughs> Man, what the? This this stuff is crazy or whatever. That's what uh, he says. That is the ending of True Detective is he takes a long drag and goes, Man, this is crazy. He's in a wheelchair. Yeah. And yeah. he's like, The stars are in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> Woody Harrelson's like, Okay. Woody Harrelson's like, I'm going to go roll this guy off a fucking ravine. <laughs> yeah. This guy's been pissing me off. For fucking ten episodes, <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, what's that, guys? Matthew McConaughey does such a good job in that. The the episode where they he goes undercover is so intense, and it's all like a one take. Yeah, and they're in the like they're in the, like the hood, and they're in the the deal, and everyone's like fucking banging on the door and stuff. That that is a great episode. And then the cops show up, and he has to like evade them too. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, that's a good stuff. Pretty, I honestly top four for like. Best TV I've ever watched. What's it's the, up there. The I've, I've watched it. I've watched the first season two or three times. On, honestly, if Game of Thrones hadn't, like, Game of Thrones was Stayed the best in. TV I'd ever watched for, like, the several seasons, and then it just is such a sour taste. In it. Have you ever heard uh, uh, Quentin Tarantino was saying that, like, if the other Matrixes hadn't come out, then the first Matrix would be one of the best movies ever made? And I feel That's like. So good. Those. Dude, the, c the scene where he's just. Powering up in the station or yeah. whatever, and he gets yellow he hair. To That's my favorite. Yeah. 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 That part's awesome. And he's like, "This is the Matrix." That line, the, yeah, that legendary yeah. line. Yeah. And he looks directly <laughs> at the camera. He goes, he "Yeah, goes, this is." Look at the camera. <laughs> the Matrix. You are now he watching the him. Matrix. Yeah, <laughs> I'm Keanu Reeves. Yeah, that part was. And then Rage Against the Machine sick. starts playing. Go in and now, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, yeah. That's sick. But no, uh, when that, uh, I feel like I, I understand that because Game of Thrones was one of the best TV shows I'd ever watched. And then it just was like, what the fuck is going on here? I kind of want to do a rewatch that show, but it's so fucking long. It like, you know, long. only up until a certain season, I'd probably stop. But yeah, God, Christ, so fucking long. So I've seen the first couple seasons, you know, a couple of times when I like, when and I, I'm not going to sit there and like, them. 
by the way, reading those fucking books, uh, it's all great. And it, like, you know how much your eyes roll when it comes up and it's like, you see, oh, great. I'm looking at Bran and fucking Hodor walking through the snow for the 50th time. It's only like a six minute scene in the TV show. When you turn the page and it says Bran at the top of it, and you're like, great. I got like an hour and a half of fucking reading of this dipshit with his cripple yeah. fucking legs <laughs> crawling through the snow. Yeah. It's the worst. His story sucks in the books. It sucks in the show. It sucks in the show. I I didn't. I never read the book. I read. I think I read the first one when I was a lifeguard, and no one would ever come into the pool. Oh, yeah. And all you could do is read. You know why? It's because they they walked up yeah. there with their kids, and they're like, "Oh, this is the guy that is. This all is right, the guy it, we're entrusting our lives to." No, dude. Oh my god. My my job. I well, this is just gonna totally. I'm its own thing if I start talking about it, but I was a lifeguard at a YMCA. It's one of my first like high school jobs, and you know you you probably have an image of my hometown from the ways I've described it. Yeah, you know, it's incredibly mm -hmm. small. Yeah, I'm thinking no one... an above ground pool. No, that would be <laughs> yeah. no, it's an indoor <laughs> below ground pool. An that above ground hilarious. pool actually, in the middle of a hilarious. trailer park. It's a community no, above okay. ground It's not pool. a fucking trailer park town. There's a okay. fence. It's just yeah, small. and there's a chain link fence around it. Yeah. And there's a, it's me and a junkyard dog. And there's a, in, there's you know? a, a colored entrance at the back. That is the sign. <laughs> the sign's been uh, crossed out because they realized that segregation ended several years ago. When was anyone going to tell our town? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, but it would just be like hours on end of... I think it probably made me, you know, a little kooky <laughs> up there because you oh, couldn't work. You they would only have one lifeguard at a time, yeah. And I just sit there for four hours. You weren't allowed to be on your phone. The most fun thing I could do was just walk laps around the pool, and it was like dead silent besides the noise of just like the vents and like a like a water droplet noise. And I just you couldn't even swim for fun. You could only, if you wanted to swim, you had to swim laps, and I'm like. Who gives a f no one's coming anyway. The occasional yeah. person that'd come would just be like in the oldest guy you've ever seen, just like uh, uh, and you get in the pool and I'd be like, Oh my god, this guy's gonna die of something else <laughs> in the pool and I'm gonna have to deal with him. And then when you closed your shift, you had to like it was the most cleaning I've ever done in it. Like you'd have to mop and sweep the entire pool area, which is huge, by the way. Then you'd have to do both the locker rooms, and then you'd have to help out the front desk people with their stuff. Like it just fucking it sucked. You're just and a janitor, just like, a janitor yeah, that knows CPR. Basically. And they're just like, oh my god, don't even get me started. Okay, this is this is bad. Like they needed lifeguards so so bad that they cut they the you. lifeguard training services. They hired you. They they cut <laughs> the lifeguard training services from like a multi week program. To, it was probably like four weeks to like one week and then if you i mean i passed it but at the end of it that you had a written test if you failed it they just let you retake it right then <laughs> like multiple people failed they're like all right try again what do you mean try it's multiple choice they're just gonna like by process of elimination eventually they'll pass it yeah and like all the lifeguards like you know I'm not going to lie. After about a year, I was like, I don't remember how to do shit. I really hope no one drowns. And then I worked at a different pool where people actually had the potential, you know, to like drown. Uh, and like, it was infinitely more fun though, just because you got to work with another human and the pool had a slide. So anytime there wouldn't be people there, we just r go like two or three deep on the slide. So we could go as fast as we could down it. And like at that one, you know, I was a lifeguard for like three years. I knocked on wood every morning. I never had to jump in to save someone. I jumped in once, and then the old guy like saved himself. But oh. I got there. <laughs> nice. So who but was I, your? Like, did you ever have a crush on your your female uh, oh, lifeguard? Yeah. Did oh, you yeah. have a Wendy I mean, Peppercorn a, type scenario? Yeah, basically, it was already a chick I, I had a crush on at school, and then we worked together, and I was like, "This is awesome." Yeah. 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 You're like, you want to do CPR like, uh, on my penis, maybe? <laughs> Yeah, she was like, I don't oh. even think you know how to swim. And I was like, <laughs> okay, whatever you say. No, dude, one time, though, like, it was it was crazy. Like, you know, I, was in a, I wasn't a bad lifeguard, but, you know, I was just there. And then my friend was, like, super life, like, saved multiple people having seizures in the pool. <laughs> he, 
a guy died in the lobby and he brought him back to life with one of those like clear like Too they never weird. trained us how to use one of those like how the <laughs> fuck did he's like, winging it like he was just a fucking hero of the I pool seen this on tv he's and i was just sitting there like him. i just got a snapchat memory the other day of like the shit i would do there like i made this contraption where I, like there were free mints in the lobby and i got a pitcher <laughs> of water and i made like mint water by like Wow. Filtering the mint <laughs> wait, into it. Wait, so, <laughs> that's your, that's wait, your so you had a crush on your female lifeguard well, she lady. Wasn't she wasn't probably there when I was making mint the, water, okay? She had the choice between guy that saves <laughs> other people with paddles and CPR and saves seizure kids or guy that makes mint water. <laughs> the man who handed out mint, a glass of mint water I after the guy out. came <laughs> back. He's like, er, you you like mint water? Water? <laughs> yeah. Like, dude, I just imagined this scene where, like, she's watching him save this guy's life, and then at the end, like, Pooh's, like, looking at her, and he's like, oh, shit, oh, shit, and he grabs a glass of mint water. He's like, here, I made you some mint, mint water, I'm, sir. Are you feeling better? I MacGyvered this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, sure was like the worst thing while you were drank. dead before the guy started yeah. while he was prepping <laughs> the paddle that was brewing up this rejuvenating <laughs> mint water <Yeah. laughs> it's like ambrosia for the gods it will yeah. rejuvenate you and water. restore life yeah. yeah if anyone would drown i just pour it down their throat and they'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah what the fuck who's autistically yeah. just mixing that no, shit dude, whatever she would ask him. dude i was just a bored high schooler we do anything to pass like lifeguard jobs just suck if no one's fair like yeah they did and especially in <laughs> my town who just autistically mumbling to himself like i'm making i'm making potions i'm making <laughs> like, no, it's not potions I'm like, it's not alchemy okay it was mint water it was not <laughs> supposed to be good and it was not good when i was done this... with it i'm pretty sure oh. hero kid was helping me make it too like it was like <laughs> He was like he the main life. He is a hero. He's helping the fucking the yeah. mentally <laughs> mentally yeah. deranged employee. All right, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll drink oh. some. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. mm, it, it's it good. The plant in the corner that yeah. he fucking throws it into. He, yeah, throws it in the pool and it turns like gray. Yeah. <laughs> I feel stronger already, little, bud. Little skull and crossbone cartoons start coming out of it. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, yeah, those high school jobs all fucking sucked, but uh, yeah. you I hate think me, my, poop. What about you, I Brian? I feel like you didn't kid. have a job until you got your IT thing. I worked at a Dairy Queen. That was about mm. it. Was I not supposed to say what, what? industry you work in? <laughs> no, I mean, uh, okay. IT's IT. Yeah. And, uh, Every company's got IT. Internet troll. <laughs> 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 no, I worked at a Dairy Queen. That's about it. It wasn't anything amazing. Okay, so Dairy Queen. Do they? Too. Is there anything that's made there? No, it's all frozen. Yeah, it's all frozen shit. Okay. Yeah, and I would intentionally like add way too much extra like fries and chicken, so I'd eat the rest. Oh, nice. <laughs> that's all I did. And then I, uh, we had poutines there because it was Canada, so they yeah. had poutines. It was fucking gross because it was basically like you'd fry the fries, mm -hmm. and then you put the gravy and cheese, which the cheese curds were in a fucking like plastic bag that you'd open like a package yeah you'd put the fucking cheese curds in there and then they just tell you to nuke it for like five minutes or some shit in the microwave and i was like this is fucking gross huh but yeah yeah there you go that's the secret to poutine <laughs> yeah i never had a fast yeah. food job thankfully that was yeah. I, I i kind of did it was like a local fast food it was an ice cream place yeah and they had really gross Dairy food queen? like they, they had like like they'd make coney dogs and it was just like <laughs> The same thing of like vat of boiling coney sauce that they freeze and reheat every day. Ugh. Uh, I really don't want to, you know, because it's going to take like another 10 minutes if I talk about this job. So, you guys, can... well, we made some pretty gross food combinations there too. We made a coney frappuccino <laughs> and gave it to one of my friends that had like hot dog blended up in it. Uh. We made we made like an $80 drink once. Like, we, of course, we didn't pay for it, but we added every single topping and every single. Like thing you could add into a milkshake into one, yeah, and it was fucking vile. It tastes like it almost <laughs> tastes like a peanut butter and jelly that had sat in a lunchbox for a while. Like it was really, <laughs> it was like, and one of my friends was just like, "It's not that bad." Like, like you know, it's like an eighty dollar <laughs> drink. We can't let it go to waste. Yeah, everyone else was like, "Dude, like they don't pay us enough. Just throw that <laughs> shit away." Like, holy shit. Uh, but ah, uh, those jobs.
Did you ever have a that job where you just straight up too. didn't want to do it? Like you just you were just like I'm done and you just quit. Why well, why well, MCA job? I couldn't quit there because my mom, my mom and dad wanted both wanted me to have a job like as soon as I could. Uh, Teach me. Yeah. Teach Dude. me how to how to when do. When I job. was at a YMCA, I was taking like as this is like a little kid, I used to take like swimming lessons there. Oh yeah, and I, I fucking yeah, you only, yeah, you touched my little ding dong, and I was like <laughs> turned on for it. And now I like men. No, but uh, I fucking I was taking lessons, and I ate a bunch of KFC before I went to do my lesson. And you know, I was a you know, I went to my lesson, and I actually just threw up all over the pool. Well, not in the pool, but around the outside of the pool. And they had to shut down the entire like place for the rest of the day. Jesus. They had to clean everything, and I basically never showed up again. I was like, oh, well, I can't show my face here anymore, because I basically just, they're going to know me as the guy who literally ruined that entire day's worth <laughs> of, like, activities. How I old were you? It was, I was, like, seven or something. Oh, I was talking about, like, jobs. Like, what the fuck? No, 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 no. I didn't work there, and I threw up. Oh, no, okay. I'm fucking, Dude, I'm just thinking about have, YMCA. People throw uh, up or shit in the pool. That was the worst. Yeah. And I'll tell you who were the <laughs> worst culprits. Amish, I... Listen, I've got nothing. I've got nothing inherently against Amish people, but what that job, do, I was like, you, you can no, say dude, what you I want, dude. They're, they're not going to listen them. to this. Yeah, I know they, they're not going to listen to this, dude. But I, I, I used to be like Amish people. You know, they're just like doing their own. They're just doing their own thing, and their worlds do not collide with mine. They'd come to the pool. I'm like, are you even allowed to be here? They bring like their fucking eight kids, and the parents would just like unleash their kids, and we'd be like. <laughs> Like no running, no running. The kids would be like, ah, ooh, and like they were, they were the most disrespectful kids I'd ever seen. And the parent, the parents would be like laughing. And one of the Economic. one of these weird little fucking like they, they would shit in the pool almost every time they come. One of the kids would shit in the pool, and you'd have Wait, to shut down the pool. And you had to people fish were it out. Like super like maybe these were like outcast Amish yeah, people. Maybe that's thought, why they like, were there. They kids got, were supposed to never smile and be like, yes, father, no father. Dude, maybe they. That's got what the, I thought. They got in the wagon. They're like, hey, let's go mess with some normies. They got electricity. You can treat them <laughs> yeah. like shit. And they're Dude, like, and they're like, <laughs> first one to shit in the pool gets the fucking. <laughs> It's the, the cream of the broth today or whatever the fuck they dude, treat them with. That's fucking gross, dude. Yeah. They're there's, shitting. There's, there's this one little regular kid. Like, his little crack mom would show up and be like, Hey! Like, stop that! And the little kid would just, like, <laughs> run around. And the kid had one of those, like, if he started bleeding, he apparently, like, he just couldn't stop. Whatever it's called, like, an hemophilia. Oh, hemophilia. Hemophilia. Kid, hemophilia. Yeah. And, uh, like, one time... That's, by the way, a sign of inbreeding, but carry on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, good. And uh, he, like, one time he shit all like over the bathroom, ex everywhere <laughs> but the toilet, and then got cut somehow and bled all <laughs> over the bathroom. And the mom was like, yeah, like, sorry, he had a little accident there. We got most of it, though. Okay, bye. And left, and we're like, oh, my God, what is it going to be like in there? And it was, like, fucking bloody shitty horror. Like... Just absolutely fucking vile. And like, after that day, I'm like, ah, if that kid comes back here, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna poke no, him but, with a needle in the back of his yeah, head. Don't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna cat scratch him, dude. Yeah. Right down his back. And then I'm gonna fucking throw away all the band aids in the building. Yeah. <laughs> no, so no, his like, mom was like really country? She, yeah, she well, like uh, not country. Brother. She was just like white trash. Like okay, white trash. Like, he has hemophilia. <laughs> I'm. I think that kid might have been might have been inbred. Is I would not. I would not be surprised. The kid looked inbred. Yeah. Well, there you go. He looked. And the it. mom looked inbred. And the the dad brother looked inbred too. <laughs> She's always like, it's "My brother husband." I'd be like, oh, "Fuck this thing." Uh, wait, hold on. Sorry, I've got to. I have to. I have to text something really quick. But keep talking. Oh no, we we'll wait. Text? We'll wait. It's part. Of, part of the podcast, so you got to read it out. Yeah. Do you want to share with the class? No, it's about my dad. Oh, okay, Coming so you're up. a bad son. Yeah. You know, he doesn't remember my birthday. It's just a thing we do. It's like a joke. Oh, we don't no. tell each other happy birthday or we love each other. It's like a running joke. Yeah. Um, he actually... Uh, he actually. Well, now I feel stressed out. Like, I can't actually, reply to You like got a very the emancipation reply. papers because it, for, yeah. for the oh. joke. <laughs> God. Dad! <laughs> Cut it out! <laughs> yeah, I don't want anything to do with you legally. <laughs> 
God. I'm my <laughs> own man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, he's like, I'm cutting you out of my will just for a joke, you know? <laughs> it's funny, just keep it up. It's the one running gag we have in this family. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna stop calling you and stop even like <laughs> saying your name. Yeah. <laughs> we actually paid it's... to get you photoshopped out of every family photo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, they asked me because I'm like the Photoshop guy oh. in the family. Yeah. Like, hey, <laughs> they... can, you... <laughs> can you take <laughs> you <laughs> out of it? <laughs> Yeah, got a little bit of a glitch funny here. Video, yeah, uh, yeah. No, I love my dad. <laughs> I do, and he loves me. Oh yeah, I feel like he's yeah. the reason why you're a fucking weirdo. No, no that's the weirdest, fuck, most fucked up, crazy thing he's ever done to you. I just have like a normal. What do you mean? What's the weirdest, most fucked up thing? Like you own my own this, turn, this podcast has turned exclusively into just like make poob talk and then yeah. uh, fucking ask poob a <laughs> hundred questions. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, why I don't need... you, you guys don't talk enough? Well, that's it should be like a has nothing guy. going on. He has nothing. Yeah. Well, I'm 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 talking I about. Just I used to judge. think he's not... secretive. I used to literally think Brian was secretive. <laughs> I've just determined he's got nothing. Like he's. I've seen stones in my driveway that have a more exciting life than anything Brian's done. He was yeah. born, went you to Catholic to school, like that, Brian? went to Dairy Queen, and then bullied Poob. Those are like a, <laughs> he's got yeah, like a four stage life. timeline. <laughs> he he's had the life of a cicada. He just like sat in the dirt for eighteen years and then <laughs> crawled out and met me, and then we started bullying you. That's it. Yeah. Wow. Actually, I find quiet comfort in that. I find yeah, <laughs> find solace in that. <laughs> but uh, I need to pick your brain. I just don't know what why do you, you know? turned I'm, out this way. I'm not, I'm not even that dude. I, you know, I up it up. You know, like I'm not weird. You up it. Up. <laughs> I'm not weird. He says convincingly. Yeah. No, but yeah. I mean, oh, I yeah, I don't know, Brian. There's not there's not like a traumatic event in my life. You know, I'm the product of my entire life. You know, built up to this moment. Yeah. My my brother and my sister in law keep thinking they they say I have unresolved conflict and and trauma because of my parents' divorce. Mm. Wait, that just gave me a good idea. Sorry, you can talk about this in a second. We should have a therap like a real therapist on here one day. Oh no, no, no see what they say about that's a each marriage of us individually. counselor. That was like well, you. I should come on there and do marriage counseling with you and Abby. And I I oh, said, dude. look, I don't. You're not an expert <laughs> enough to solve this, to salvage this fucking train wreck. <laughs> But uh, an actual therapist on here? That'd be hilarious. And just let, let, it's just let them pick our... Yeah, that would everyone. Be, yeah, we just like talk about our childhoods and stuff and then yeah. just, like have her rip into us or him. No, there's that guy. And, there, uh, there's a, uh, an actual Twitch streamer guy that's like a therapist dude. Holy shit. Yeah, he's like a Dr. That'd, that'd Sanjay cool. Gupta. He's a little Indian dude. We can get yeah, he could fix me. Right? He could fix, fix me. me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Indian people are great us. at fixing stuff. Whenever you have a problem, don't you call up a, a, a support line? There's always an Indian guy on the other side of it. You notice uh, that? You guys, are, you guys are a very fixing people. They are. Yeah, they always fucking tell they're you they're going to fix your issue, and then they just lie and hang up because they actually don't fucking care. <laughs> and also, you, what you'll, are you never, talking you'll about? never see them again. You'll never see them again. I feel like it's a again. very they personal lie. issue. Yeah, that sounds like you have <laughs> an un, unresolved conflict with Indian yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. I took yeah, AP I psychology. Them, it actually sounds like you're racist. I hate any, <laughs> I hate any it like, like he's racist, doesn't it? Any like automated support or like well not automated yeah. but like actual like tech dude or Amazon support. Holy shit! They because they know that you're never gonna see them again, right? And they probably don't even give them. <laughs> Show the yourself name. to me. So, <laughs> yeah, true? I'll have them say like, "Oh yeah, yeah, it'll be there tomorrow." Yeah, yeah, we'll do it for you, no problem. And then like, I next day it shows up or next day it doesn't show up, I should say, and it it ends up being delayed like a month or some dog shit. Or they end up doing some crazy thing, and it's they know they they just want you to give a good review. <laughs> they know right? they're all working together against me. Yeah, yeah. No, they, they, I'm telling you, the they're always conspiring against they're Brian. Always, <laughs> no, no, I hate them. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, they're fucking. They're dude. I'm telling you, they know that they they know that you are you can't do anything. They just say whatever you want to hear. They whatever they whatever they want to hear. They've been saying whatever, whatever wanna I want to hear all these years. I haven't been able to understand and, a damn thing. You know, <laughs> so that you can give them a thumbs up, a five star review, and then they fucking they close up shop and vanish. Like they just sold me fucking magic beans. 
and they fu and and swindled me. And then the next day, the thing that they said was gonna happen doesn't happen. They screw me over, and I can't. It's not like I can complain. I have, so let's be clear like, here. You're talking about like Amazon call support? Pe call people. Okay, not just anyone. Anyway, Amazon people. support. No, we are talking support. specifically about this uh, Twitch therapist guy. We have called him oh. several times. <laughs> yeah, but you. Oh, you, well, you went off of you went off on tech support. Or no, like no, it's te we're centers, definitely talking about tech was, support. Yeah. And yeah. I was just like, dude, every fucking, and it doesn't, they don't have to be Brian, just any I'm talking about tech support. Brian's tech support talking about the suicide hotline that he keeps calling. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, they're like, tomorrow will be better. I promise you. And then he waits for tomorrow. He's like, they no. fucking lied. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they lied I'm to call him up. I call him up to get the same guy and I never do. And then it's yeah. just a circle. And Every they, day for five years. These Indian guys <laughs> keep asking for pictures of my wife to verify my identity. <laughs> yeah, breast photos. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Hmm. yeah. Interesting. Okay. Let me see her milk nose. <laughs> yeah, Is like, she actually pregnant? Please expose your wife's <laughs> titties, please. Yeah. Please do it. <laughs> must verify your identity, please. I feel like right. a poop could do a great Indian Here's guy voice. Can you? Yeah, go. Why? Why do you feel that? No, I. Just, well, we just did one. Dude, I'll just get one Indian guy voice from you. Yeah. Please. No. No. I've got Indian friends that are gonna watch this at some point, and I'm not gonna have them seeing me do a fucking <laughs> Indian guy accent. Okay. What's your Indian guy's friend's name? What do I? I don't know if I want to dox him. No, Will I mean cut it out. No. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I mean, the, I'm gonna guess. Okay. Is his, his name Pajit? Pajit. <laughs> Is his name Pajit? <laughs> no, <not> Pajit. <laughs> you should have oh. said yes. You should have said yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, they, anyway, did they did they show up in Indiana because they thought it was India? You know what I mean? Uh, you know what I'm saying, poop? <laughs> they, were... <laughs> just, uh, yeah, they got yeah, confused. Get it, poop? Yeah. Get it, poop? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That is, that's actually laughing. hilarious, dude. Yeah. It's actually hilarious. Uh, <laughs> oh, I showed shit. up in Indiana because I thought it was India. I did yeah. a job. Bad. That's what you, did you say? That's how you and, and those Indian guys became such good friends. They fucking laughed so hard yeah. at that joke. No. It's just, <laughs> I mean, it's just through normal friend-making ways. But, okay, so uh, you yeah, said there's a you have an Indian friend that'll probably end up watching this. Do you actually have IRL friends that a, know this a, podcast? Yeah, I do have IRL friends that know this. I, yeah. I told you the other day I just had a friend fucking Snapchat me something I said on this about yeah, him. Yeah, it was when we were making I had, fun I of had him. Not, I had yeah. not told him about this podcast. Yeah, like, and then after you, you after you told us that he, he Snapchatted Twitch. you, you said he was um, a pathetic loser. I remember that. Like I hate this yeah, guy. You were talking like that. Shit. Don't say shit like that because some people might actually believe you. And you're like that guy. Is, no, yeah. no. You said he was a piece of shit. You said you. You said he's a pathetic piece of crap. And the only reason you don't say it to his face is because he's bigger than you. Yeah. He said. No, he, he said, you, said now, he gonna, now you have one thing in there that's almost and muscular accurate enough. <laughs> yeah. Because I told you that he was just my like my strongest friend. Mm -hmm. Don't 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 put that in there or don't say shit like that because I do have IRL <laughs> friends that watch this. You said he used them as muscle yeah. in, in school. You know what? You pretend to be his friend. I've never had an IRL friend watch this thing. Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> no friend. Yeah, because yeah. Abby doesn't watch it. Abby, <laughs> my Abby or my daughter doesn't watch it. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, you know, fucking Bizzle too. tried making me feel bad. He's like, you don't even have one black friend. I was like, I don't even have one friend. I don't have one. <laughs> he can't he sit there and make, try to make me feel bad about not having a black friend when I don't have a white friend either. Like, I don't have any IRL friends. Like, yeah. A normal friend, yeah. Yeah. And black people don't exist on the internet as far as I can tell. I've never met one. Have you guys? Uh, yeah, I, have, I have black internet friends too. What? Really? You? Yeah. I, Name three. I mean, that's kind of a <laughs> really that's a big number. Yeah. Like name one. I thought Brian was black for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was going to count Brian as number two. I haven't oh. seen him yet, so yeah. I assume. Uh, what's number one? Yeah, actually, I'm not going to. I'm not going <laughs> to. Yeah. Starts naming off reindeer names. <laughs> Doxton, <laughs> Dashin. <laughs> Don't Those are both not reindeer <laughs> yeah, names. Those are all, I don't know. know. Doxin, <laughs> Daver, <laughs> whatever the fuck he's saying. Daxin, Daquan. Yeah. Uh, Santa Claus is actually a racist with all those, <laughs> with all those reindeer names. Yeah. 
Uh, man. Anyways, yeah, we've been we've been going for a while now, right? Hour thirty five in that. Can yeah, you cut all that part out? Still? Yeah, blood I thought we'd already. I thought we quit when you were like. I was trying blah, to make blah, blah. one good oh, one final ending. Okay. Then no, no, I was trying to make one like good episode right that didn't require a lot of editing because the last one oh. we did was it was fuck. well, fucking I, Brian brought it up. So I really apologize for Brian the said last episode. this is the first episode we didn't have to talk about that one guy, so we <laughs> yeah. had to cut it well, out. I, I see that like cuticle that. hangnail on your finger there. Bring that thing back up. <laughs> Now it's not there. What do you mean? <laughs> the thing was, you, you, stuck, you stuck your finger at the camera, and that finger, like, it had this thing hanging off. That was intense. Like a hangnail. Like yeah. some sort of hangnail. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I ripped it off, though. It's gone now. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty cool. You ever though. accidentally peel it, and it just keeps going up your arm, up your arm? You have one slice out of your entire arm and your shoulder? No, I've never I had that particular thing happen. <laughs> I have seen the oh, picture that you're stealing that from, though. <laughs> I have seen that. Oh, 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 oh. Actually, I, actually, I, I have not seen oh, that. Oh, he's trying to be like you've never <laughs> seen this picture before. Oh, I've I've seen seen I actually have it. Go a night without Robin. Oh, see. Oh, see. Oh, 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 oh. Bro, there's like hot. seven billion people in the world. I'm sure a thousand of, no. I'm sure of millions <laughs> have thought of the idea of a hangnail. Oh, Keep going. No, no. Nobody's thought of that except for you. Yeah, well, congratulations. Apparently, there's too. an image out there of the exact thing, so that guy obviously did too. Or yeah. girl. Or girl. If I was lying, I'd be blushing right now. Actually, uh, my nose would have gotten a little bigger. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that okay. a common trait of yours? Yeah, that's yeah. actually the only way to tell. <laughs> I get a little hard too. <laughs> Are All we, right. What, okay, why well, are you going to end it? Are you going to say I was, something? I was trying. The end! <laughs> there you go. That's the end. <laughs> Thanks.